Hello, I am Chaplain Anthony Kelly. Today we're in my office and I want to talk to you about Satan's deceptive nature. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 14, the Apostle Paul's writing to the church in Corinth and he says, And no wonder, for Satan himself transforms into or appears as an angel of light. See, there were false teachers who invaded the church. There were false apostles. And Paul is writing to straighten out the Christians there in Corinth to get them back on true doctrine, on true scripture, to get them away from these the hands of the false teachers. And he equates this as a working of Satan, how Satan appears as an angel of light. Satan is a grand magician. He's a grand illusionist. Satan is a master manipulator. Satan is a master at misdirection. The Bible says there's a lot of names for Satan. In the Old Testament, back in the Garden of Eden, Satan is the serpent. He's also the enemy. He's the adversary. He's a fallen angel. He's that lion that prowls around seeking for someone to devour. He's the prince of the air. But here, he is named as a creature that can appear as an angel of light. Now, there's a principle in magic. Satan is the master magician, correct? Like I said a moment ago. There's a principle of magic called misdirection. When a magician is holding something in one hand, he might be doing something with another hand. If he's doing, it doesn't matter how big or small the trick or illusion is, there's always a principle of misdirection, all the way from Harry Houdini back in the 1920s to today with David Copperfield or David Blaine or Chris Angel or any other number of all magicians and illusionists. The principle is still the same. It's misdirection. When the magician is doing one thing, as he appears to be doing, in reality, he's doing something else that you cannot see. That is misdirection. And that's how Satan operates. And to further illustrate this, I have with me two giant cards. I have a Jack of Hearts, and I also have a Joker. I'm going to take this Joker and place it right here away. So I'm not going to be touching it. Not right now. I'm going to take this jack of hearts and I'm going to place the jack inside of this bag that's hidden. And as it's hidden away, that's how Satan operates. He wants to hide from you the truth. He wants you to say that there's a false doctrine out there and that you can't find it. It's a secret. Well, let me tell you something. The Bible tells us everything is laid bare. You want to know the secrets of God? You want to know the will of God? It's found in the Bible. You want to know God's will for your life? It's in the Bible. It's in the Word of God. We don't have to find deception or a mask or something hidden because it's in plain sight. Just like this queen of clubs right here is a principle. I'm going to place it in her inside. Back in the bag. Might say another, some magic word or something like that. And a lot of times we as Christians will say, Jesus knows my heart. Jesus knows all about me. Jesus knows everything in my life. Jesus knows me, man. Jesus knows my heart. I can sin. It's okay with God. I can go party on the weekends, smoke dope, shoot up drugs, go get drunk, look at pornography. It's okay with God. Jesus knows my heart. Yes, Jesus knows your heart. He knows that there's a deceptive nature in your heart. And realize this, Satan will always try to appear something as he is not. Satan will always make you out to be the fool. Satan wants you to think, hey man, everything is okay, but in reality, it's all topsy-turvy. Life is like that, isn't it? When we walk in faith with the Lord Jesus, Satan is there to remind us of our sins, 
to remind us of our failures, to remind us of what we did before. But the Bible says to flee from all appearances of evil, to be renewed and to transform the renewing of our mind. That the moment you gave your life to Jesus Christ, all of your sins are forgiven. So you don't have to go and live in sin any longer. You don't have to go to the bars. You don't have to go look at pornography. You don't have to do steal, lie, cheat. You don't have to do any of that stuff that the world does. Why? Because we have made the joker out of Satan. Satan is that joker. You and I, in Jesus Christ, are free from the grips and the lies, the deceptions. How do you know the truth? It's found in the Word of God. Open up the Word of God. Memorize the Word of God. Meditate on it day and night and allow it to become one with you so that you will know all the deceptive nature of how Satan operates. That you will not be fooled by his misdirection. That grand magician, that grand illusionist, he won't be bothering you anymore because you are free in Jesus from his lies, from all of his trickery. You are free in Jesus. Amen.